What is going on, guys? Sean Don is back with a technical analysis. Here we have Tristan Johnson, SDTC Online Elite member, uh, throwing the hammer. Yeah, it's outdoor season. It's hammer season. So let's take a look. <laughs> nice sort of wind going on in the background. Decent weather for outdoor season, Tristan. Good for you. Okay, definitely getting it out there with the effort. Nice little yell at the end. So you sent me two videos, Tristan, and like I said, I like this one because I think the tension you set up in the entry is better, and because of that, um, the rest of the throw is better as well. So one more time, just just peep the entry, and then we'll break it down. Um, I think this is more about uh, full speed visuals than necessarily breaking it down at least in terms of what I'm talking about when I say I like the entry um, but uh, so yeah so let's let's break it down and, and see if I can explain that more um, so solid posture bring it forward bring it back um, just like in the last technical analysis video I did of you which was back in the weight when we first started working together um, I still think you need a little bit more weight on this left side uh, less so you know in 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 uh, hammer than in weight um, I think it's it's easier to set up stuff on your on your left side when you're throwing hammer, but when you're throwing weight, you got so much pulling you over to that right side. Um, so just a little bit more on this left side brings the hammer forward, comes around, turning the shoulders back, doing a good job, relaxing the arms, letting the ball take its natural path. Very good. I also spy a first place hammer handle. I could be wrong. But if you are using a first place hammer handle, invest in a Dominator or a Pilonic or some sort of uh, blocked handle. That'll make you throw farther immediately. And anybody out there watching this, if you use first place hammer handles, I know it's kind of, it is what you what you get when you order those cheap handles and hammers. But uh, invest in a real handle and you'll throw way farther immediately. Trust me. Um, but back to the throw off, uh, off my tangent. Um, once again... Ball comes through, nice natural path. Body weights looks like nice, evenly distributed, but like I said, maybe a little bit more on the left side. Um, I would say turn your head back. So you're looking at zero, which is totally fine. Um, I think you do a good job with it, but it might help you connect just a little bit earlier. So meaning you're, you can turn your shoulders back just a little bit more and connect and feel the ball a little bit earlier off this second wind. If you turn your head and look, uh, like literally like right where the camera is. Um, if you look towards 45 degrees before zero, like I said, you reach back, catch the ball earlier, connect earlier, and you feel tension earlier as well. Um, just one little tip. Otherwise, I think the ball drops a little bit much off this one. I'd say try to keep it just a little bit flatter. I mean, for three turns, you can be a little bit steeper, and it's totally fine. Um, but I think the big problem here is that you can see this right elbow kind of pulling downwards, and then because of that, you don't really connect with the ball that well until about here, whereas in your other throw that you sent, I think it would be a little bit later. Um, so what you should try to do is keep your hands up just a little bit more and then extend this right elbow out, or extend this right arm out and try to reach out as far as you can to the right side to 270. Reach out to 270 and try to extend the ball uh, farther out to the right side, your right side. Um, that way, if you do that right, it's going to make the entry feel nice and long and you're going to have even better tension coming through zero and coming through 90 on this first turn than you already do. Um, also, another big thing with your technique, I think I've told you a couple times now, uh, try to bend your knees more right from the start. All right, so as you can see, as you come through on entry, your hips are right here, and then as you come through, you sink down and bend your knees and sit your hips back, um, which... It's not ideal in my opinion. I'd say start with your hips already at this level. So you can see you have about, you're in like a nice quarter squat position, all right? So I'd like to see that position right in the winds. So like right as soon as you set up, so like right here, okay? What I normally do is I'll set my feet and then the next thing I do before I bring the hammer forward is I sit my butt down as much as possible, not back. Uh, I guess a better way to say it would be bend your knees as much as possible without bending the, uh, at the waist. So just sit your knees down as much as you can, bend your knees as much as you can. Like a nice front squat position, hips forward, shoulders over the hips, upright torso. Um, do that before you even start the throw. Stay there during the winds. 
turn your head back a little bit more, and then it'll be much smoother, a much smoother transition will be much more consistent throughout the entry, and a more consistent entry means more consistent and farther throws. So, like I said, sit down just a little bit more uh, at the start, but don't sit back. Sit down, bend your knees. Uh, otherwise, like I said, so I think you, you did a good job setting up tension on this entry compared to the other throw that you sent. And you can see here, as you come through, it's this backward motion. So you see how you shift your hips sit back, not ideal, but your shoulders also go back slightly as well. And that sets up tension. Uh, you're a little bit ahead of the ball. And I think this goes back to uh, not extending your right arm out enough. Uh, with your right arm not doing enough work, your left side kind of takes over. But that being said, like I said, you see the slight backwards movement throughout the shoulders as the ball comes through 270 to zero. That's part of the pendulum. And because of that, you set up that pendulum well, you get back onto this heel well, and you can, I'm sure you feel the tension as the ball comes through here. That's usually a good thing. If you can feel the tension, you're, that means you're connected. And if you keep that connection and that tension throughout the entire throw, uh, meaning you accelerate consistently throughout the turn, or throughout the throw, sorry, um, then it'll be a good throw 100% of the time. Um, so, like I said, try to extend the right arm out more on this right side. Feel the ball pass slower because, you know, just because the ball's moving fast doesn't mean it's carrying a lot of force behind it. Uh, longer path, same speed is going to create more force. Uh, so if you extend your right arm out more, try to cover more distance over here on this side of the circle, and then really, really wait for the ball to pass. Um, feel the ball lead you into the throw. So as you can see, you shift back, and this head is ahead. So that's why I want you to turn your head back more in the winds. And then this left shoulder starts to go just a little bit right before the ball gets there. So as the ball comes through zero, which is like right about there, your left side's already ahead just a little bit. Um, your right leg's doing a decent job working with the ball, and your left knee is more bent than it was in the previous technical analysis video I did. And that's definitely improving overall. The ball's getting out more left. You can really see the ball accelerate it's right through here. You see the ball start to pick up a little bit. All right. Um, that's part of the, that's that pendulum, that's that tension that I'm talking about. You see the ball, boom, kind of pick up at speed a little bit and kind of, it does take you into the turn. Like you do a good job of letting it pass through here. Like you wait for it pretty well. As you can see, ball gets to 90 degrees. Your shoulders are facing, your hips are facing it. This is a solid position, but this right here, uh, I think if you let the ball, like I said, just let the ball pass just a little bit more. You feel even more tension and you take even more um, force into the first turn. But overall, like this is this is better than, like I said, the last technical analysis video that I did on you. And uh, yeah, solid position right there. Right leg's working a little bit better, turning with the ball. Left side's turning with the ball. It's just that left shoulder is a little bit ahead. Ball goes. And one more thing. Because you don't quite connect with the ball early enough and you don't extend out enough over here. You don't have enough, uh, I guess, forward. So, so what you need to think about is throwing the ball forward a little bit more. Um, it looks like you're going a little bit too much around. That's partially because this left side is uh, so strong right now. Uh, and because of that, you don't quite have the ball. So like right as the ball comes through here, you should feel the ball start to pull you forwards. And you can see in single support, your upper body more or less stays where it's at. Uh, it doesn't really go forwards. Your hips don't really go forwards. If anything, you're just kind of staying in the same place. Like, yeah, you're doing a heel turn, and so you shift back a little bit, but at this point, you need to go forwards. As the ball reaches about this right sector line down here, you need to uh, almost think about dropping your left knee forwards and going with the ball. Let the ball feel the ball pull you forward. Feel the ball act on you. You act on the ball in, singles, or in double support, and the ball acts on you in double support. I said that wrong two times in a row. Scratch that, reverse it. In double support, you act on the ball. In single support, the ball acts on you. There we go. Um, so like I said, drop that left knee forward, feel the ball pull you forward, feel that tension, feel the pulse, as I call it, the pulse of the ball in the direction of the sector. And uh, because you don't quite get that, you can see this ball kind of come back around and you come back around just a little bit and you catch just a little late. Now I wouldn't say late, just before 270 is pretty solid. Posture looks good. Strong catch position. I think you're just missing that impulse towards the sector. 
perhaps because you're a little tight through that left shoulder, if you relaxed more and felt that right side go around the left side more and felt that ball pull you forwards, I think this throw would feel a lot more powerful and you'd be on your way. Um, otherwise, you catch. And kind of the same thing as in the entry. Left side's just a little bit overactive. But once again, you can kind of see this pendulum backwards. You shift back as ball hits zero. Ball is going to start taking off around the left. Um, it's just that left side just a little bit ahead. Right leg's doing a decent job working with the ball. Once again, solid stuff here. Good lower body. You're, you're staying with your legs bent more throughout the throw. I think you just need to start with them bent in the winds. So um, you can get used to feeling strong in that position. Um, Standing up a little bit here, left side once again is just taken off as ball goes left, but not bad. And then so there, you can see a little bit more of the pulse. You go forwards a little bit more. You don't spin yourself in a circle as much, and I bet you you catch earlier here. Yeah. A little bit wide on this step. As you can see, you put this... Instead of coming up and down and putting this foot, this right knee up and down like a piston, you can see you extend. So this right knee right here, this right knee is going to extend and your right foot is going to come down a little bit wide. What you want to do is just think about just putting that foot straight down. Don't extend it out. Just put it straight down, up and down. Uh, if you do that, you'll catch a little bit earlier, have a little bit more weight back on this left side if you do it right. But as you can see, right foot comes down. So there's like three frames right here where I think you could like you could have got this right foot down right here, I think. But there's two frames because you do step a little wide. You lose you lose those two frames. Um, otherwise, posture looks decent. Like I said, just a little bit wide here. Knees a little bit too far apart. Uh, but shoulders look kind of back over the hips at least. Nice and long, relaxed shoulders. And then as you come through zero again, this left side. And you can see, once again, good job, pendulum. Not quite. As the ball reaches this point right here, as this left heel comes down, what you need to do is think about driving... You, what you always want to do is always drive backwards in the direction of where the ball is. So if the ball is right here, you want to drive backwards in that direction. And then as the ball is right here, you want to drive backwards in that direction. And as the ball is here, you want to drive back in that direction. So it's a very fine-tuned thing, and it takes a while to learn. But uh, So it's not always just backwards. It's not always around. It's a, always a mixture of the two. Um, it's, it's kind of uh, it's like a spectrum, I guess. I really don't know, but uh, like I said, it's a combination of pushing back and rotating, and at which point are you pushing back in which direction, blah, 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 this and that. So like as ball, as you catch, you're countered back uh, even towards to, towards 90 degrees, and like I said, so it's there's always different parts of the throw. You want to be doing different things, but uh, otherwise, yeah, you just need to, that left heel comes down, you need to drive backwards this way, and then hold this left side just a little bit better. Like I said, you shift back just a bit. You can see it in the foot, that left foot. You see that? That's not natural. That's that left foot coming off the ground. And because you'd have too much weight on this right side, that left foot comes off the ground and it's not the best. But that's also a result of that left side just being a little bit overactive in the entry, like I talked about. It comes to fruition later in the throw um, as more forces are created. So that left foot coming up and shifting is no good. Um, I think that's once again just because you're a little bit ahead of the ball. Your right leg's doing a good job turning with the ball, but you're, you can see your head right here too. Looks like it's turned to 90 degrees uh, approximately. Left side just a little bit, uh, a little bit open. But then you do a good job holding once again. So as the ball comes to 90, you can still see your head of it a little bit. Left side just a bit ahead. Right side is getting there, but and then as you come forwards, you can see once again. A little bit more of the pulse, at least more than the entry, not as much as the second turn. But then same thing, that right leg not only comes down, but it extends the knee as well. And that's why you come down a little bit wide and catch a little bit late. Try to, when you do all your drills, um, try to put your right foot down a little bit more narrow. Kind of think about uh, if this is a, a direct uh, view from the back, ideally your right foot should come down pretty much. Um, in line with this left femur. So if you took a line and, and drew, or took this left femur and drew a line straight down to the ground, you want your right foot to come down pretty much, uh, at least within, like in line with that, or maybe even closer to the right side, or closer to the left side, so long as you're back over this left side. Um, but as you can see, your right foot gets a little bit wide. Again, because of that, uh, your shoulders get pulled forward just a little bit. You break just a little bit in posture. <coughs> 
excuse me, throat is getting dry. Who would have thought after talking for 15 minutes? Um, but otherwise, so once again, you can see here you're back up against the ball well. You're doing a good job driving against it. A little tightness through the arms. Hips come forward towards the hands. That's great stuff right there. And then as you come through, like I said, because you just caught a little bit wide and had a little bit too much weight on that right side, the left side, uh, once again, kind of shifts back. It's very subtle. But uh, so let's say that left foot starts shifting back right here. So you take three frames before the hammer leaves your hands with only one foot on the ground. If you could keep this left foot where it is and send the ball around it, it would be even more powerful. You'd put even more speed on the ball. And you probably wouldn't almost fall forwards. But this falling forwards is also a good sign because that means you're getting back against the ball. It just means that it uh, you didn't quite get or you didn't quite transfer all of your energy into the ball, so you almost fall forwards. If you did, you'd stick the the throw finish lead. Stick the, the finish perfectly. Stick the finish to the throw perfectly. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. Um, and uh, acrobatic save a little bit. Nice plie, something like that. I don't know my ballerina references. But uh, yeah, so overall, Tristan, um, let's run it through one more time. All right, right here, sit your knees down. Quarter squat, front squat. Um, turn your head back to the right more. Keep your hands up, and then extend your right arm out more, and wait for the ball to pass more in the entry. Like I said, that left side just goes a little bit early, and that's kind of what sets off everything in your throw. More right side, hold this left side more. More right side will send the ball around and forward more. You'll feel more pulse. You feel more pulse. You feel more power. You feel more pendulum. You feel more ball speed. And then, uh, yeah, just work on this right leg action a little bit too during your drills and otherwise like i said overall this is a decent throw i think you're making great improvements i yeah so just work on the things that i talked about and you'll get get even better set some prs this season and um yeah all right so tristan let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching everybody else out there if you guys want a technical analysis of your own or if you want to join sdtc and if you want me to write your throwing program and your, your lifting program, uh, hit me up. Go to seandonley.biz, go to the services page, sign up, hit me up on Instagram, email me, doesn't matter, ask questions, I'm here to help. Um, I'm a man of the people. So thank you for uh, watching. Goodbye. Have a great day.